Good morning, guys. We are doing a part two of some of the questions that I asked in my last video about whether or not this, these are all the small groups. So I divided the clutch into two, and this is going to be the small group. And now the question that I had was whether or not the smaller ones are female and the bigger ones are male, or was it gene linked to the recessive traits of blue and albino? Uh, so I tell you right now, it's not sex linked because some of these are male and some of these are female. And just the same with the bigger ones, some of those are male and some of those are female. But within this small group, I've noticed that the males are a little bigger than the females as far as growth rate. So there is still a relationship between size and growth rate and gender. But today what I'm gonna do is we're gonna probe these guys so without a doubt we'll know whether or not they are male and female. I'm going to tell you right now, this one I assumed was a male. And let's go ahead and probe him. You're going to want to hang him upside down. And excuse me, bear with me as I have to get this guy in position. Alright, so with male iguanas, if you can see right here, this little ridge, that's a pocket. And it goes down both, si east, both sides. See, there's a pocket there. And that's where the hemopenis stays, one side here, one side there. Now you can probe this with a small probe. This is a makeshift probe and I've smoothed it out. There's no rough edges. And you're gonna to wanna to lube it with uh, a little bit of lubrication, KY jelly, but actually I'm just using uh, vegetable oil. So very gently, and this shouldn't be done by everybody. It has to be done gently. So you're going to insert in the vent right on the edge and not even really apply pressure. Just allow it to go in. And you see how it goes into that little pocket? I can't see, babe. It goes in a little bit. And so you're going to see that it went in about a quarter of an inch, five sixteenths of an inch. And this guy is a male. But you can see that without probing because he's six months old. This little pocket right here and right there as he moves around. So there's a little, little pocket right there. And this red guy right here is a male, which is really cool because I'm predicting the other little red that I have is a female. So I'm going to have an awesome pair to make super reds and hopefully be albino and be super red albino with blue. So let's, let's, let's watch these guys grow. Now, the next one I want to do is a female that I believe is female. I haven't checked her yet, but let's get her out of there. Here we go. If you look at her, she's a little smaller. Spines aren't quite as big in her size. And, and this just kind of watching these guys grow. It's going to be hard. If you just have one, you have nothing to compare it to. That's why I'm doing this. But six months old, we're going to turn this one upside down and take a good look at the vent. Now, holding her down gently. Now, if you'll see around the vent, as there's no real pocket there. There's no little tunnel for the hemipenes. Nothing on the side, nothing on the side. If you see right there, there's just a little bit of a pocket there. Now with the female, if you're probing, this will not go in hardly at all. It, you know, it's, it's, it's right here and right here on males. And that's just vegetable oil, so it's not gonna be harmful. And just insert into the vent. You know what, let me use a smaller probe. And it's good, you wanna make sure you disinfect all your uh, equipment, all your probes that you're using. Now you wanna be careful, and this, like I said, this should not be done just by everybody. See, as you can see, that's as far as that's going in there. This one is clearly a female, but through visual inspection, you can tell that. But this little pocket right here, so this is a little girl, which is great because now I have an awesome red pair that is 50% het blue, 50% het albino. 
and because of their size, I'm hoping that they do have the head traits in here. Let's take one more look at another male. Uh, I believe this one is a male. And because this is size and he wanting to move around a little bit, just bear with me. I have a little trouble. All right, now. All right, so we take a look. You can see already, there's that pocket I was talking about. So I, I don't need to probe this. They're a little younger and a lot smaller, but I can see this little pocket right here is gonna go this way. Again, that's where the hemipenes are. So here I have another male. Now the exciting one that I need to find out is much smaller in this blue one. I really like her to be a female. She's much smaller. I'm thinking it's a female. And let's just take a look. See if we can do a visual first. All right. I am looking and that is a female. There is no pocket going down the side here for the hemipenes. And you see a small little pouch right there. Right there. See the male, you would see a little uh, pocket right here so there's really no need to probe this because I am sure that this is a female and that's exciting because now I can breed it back to the male of this clutch and really hope that she is hip for albino if indeed in about two years I have a chance 1 16 chance to produce this no iguana so there you go there's how you sex your male and female iguanas when they're really young before they become sexual but dimorphic you know physical traits with bigger jowls and bigger dewlaps and bigger spikes of the males so thank you guys for watching happy new year